So, um, so why don't we move ahead to our to um, whatever this thing is that 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 Kai really wanted you to see. Um, and right now we're seeing uh, uh, it's Kai Hubris in yes. a quote. Intelligence, Dali, yeah. it's by Salvador Dali. Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. And yeah, and I still I stand by that. So um, that's like a dinosaur. Yeah. So move. So yeah. for an astronaut's eyes only. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't. We can't move on. No. I'm. I'm. No. I think we. I think we're going to Kai. I. I think we're going to. I think we have to look at the next slide. There's oh, a question. Oh, um. Well. well uh, is this an astronaut reading? Yes. It's not. It's yes. Not. I'm an astronaut. Yes. Yes. You. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. So. This is a blatant lie. So. So. Uh, um. What is this, Kai? Welcome, space traveler. It's something for an astronaut's eyes only. I sh- guide through the stars. Number one, yes. what I want. It's very reasonable. Number two, what I can provide on a silver. What is this, Kai? Three, the clincher. Not so fast. Now, I, just... I, well, I guess um, Drancy, this was meant for you. What do you think of this so far? Um, I mean, you do get there faster if you take it slow. Um, you know, is is a general rule of astral travel. Uh huh. So uh, the clincher for me there, not so fast. I think that's right. I yeah. think you gotta mm. you gotta take it slowly. Yeah. Let's hope we don't. Let's hope. Let's hope this, the our all of our equipment fails before we even get to that point. Okay. So we're gonna let's move on. What I want. Um. What we what uh, and and what you, we want. What we both want. I think what there's is, there, Rowan. There's no turning back now. You can just leave. We don't, don't have to do that. What, what is this? What we what I want. What we both want. This this is this is like I have a proposal for an astronaut. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot. What is this about, Kai? What is I with have these a proposal quotes? for an astronaut, Drancy. What do you think of this quote? The um, Earth is not a cradle for humanity, but mankind cannot stay uh, in the cradle forever. What do you What do you think of this quote by um, by Tulevsky? I think that mankind might be in the cradle for very good reasons. Interesting. So let me just just close this out. No, this no, is an that's okay. No, that's okay. So we have here a picture of Kai. Yeah. Um, with a with a with an that's asterisk. Me. Um, and a mask. Very safe. And what uh-huh. is what is what does that say? <laughs> it says glasses only for show. Kai has perfect eyesight. Why? why and why is that necessary to because tell an astronaut? Because for an, a- an astronaut would be interested in why this picture has glasses on, and that might ruin certain chances. As an astronaut, are you interested in whether or not Kai As an Kai, astronaut, Kai has glasses? I mean, as an astronaut, I feel like you would have glasses because of the way that your eyes stretch out in space. So, but as an astronaut, I feel like glasses can sometimes restrict your eyes to a single dimension. You know, especially mm. especially if you have an astigmatism, your eyes are essentially looking in two different directions. That's because they're on two different wavelengths of, of sight. Great. You see, Kai, yeah, you're see, already I have you're, perfect. You're, I have perfect eyesight. Let's see, just leave it at that. See, you're already getting great feedback on this this presentation. Um, so, mm. um, has Kai accomplished more than most could ever dream to? And then it, it, there's a little it, animation that marks it. Yes. Yes, it's true. It's just true. Um, what what is this? Is he has, done? Let's ask. Look. <laughs> I I mean, I just met you. I, I I'm not. Have you? Have you? What have you accomplished? Um, you know, uh, I built I built several AIs that are in use by the federal government, the world government. I I what, what do those sent, AIs do exactly? I can't reveal that information, but the, the for an astronaut, they would already know. Is the thing is the astronauts would have heard of well, me we already. Have an, we have an astronaut right here. We have an astronaut here. Yeah, I mean, and and occasionally I wonder if perhaps I am in, in fact an AI that has been sent back through time. So you know that maybe you built me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but am I done? Is the next question. Is he is he done? Is Fancy, he what done? do you think? Do you think I'm done? Uh, that check mark says N O no. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. Now we can just end it here. No, I think, I think there's another slide here. I see, I see, I see a, a, an individual. Um, and what does Kai want? <laughs> what, Fancy, what, what do you think I want? Uh, apparently, Kai want the galaxy, uh, which I think the uh, the syntax <laughs> is really important here because I think you're making a very good reference to like Tarzan through to outer space. You know, we come from apes, and so we don't need to use proper sentence structure. 
Yeah, par- I'm, frankly, it's, it's just parallel. It's a new frontier. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. You didn't want people to see this guy? I don't understand. You didn't want... Um, I wanted astronauts to see it. Well, ast- maybe we haven't. We, we have at least one astronaut in the studio right now, one astronaut, and who knows how many are watching. Um, it could be any number. <laughs> Um, uh huh. So, so so let's cut it off now. No, not not hearing. not convinced. Um, and then uh, we have you with a purple sheen. That's pretty interesting. Chance, are you convinced at this point? Uh, I come to no conclusions. Well, that's excellent because we have a whole bunch more slides left. So, in fact, uh, we have number two. Ooh, number two. What, which what is a good place to stop? Um, that's no, what I always say uh, what what you have to give so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your arms spread wide when you say that. <laughs> I, I didn't say it. Rowan said it. There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. And that is a motto that I live by, said by Al- Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley. F- famed Sigma grind set, Aldous Huxley. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, what are what are areas of ex- – what is this, Kai? So these would be my strengths, and I think we already know my strengths, so we could sort of just not even – No, let's go ahead. What's, what's, um, what, what, uh, Drancy, do you want to wanna tell us what we got here? Well, I mean, I see that your vitals are perfect. I, I don't know if you've looked more into the vital magnetism. Um, no, just of, really heart rate and of, stuff. Of Venus, <laughs> yeah. Okay, All right. so it's it's by, like, the, the app on your phone? Um, on my phone, on my wrist, uh, on my it's chip, like, every, really everywhere. Good job. You're doing great. I'm tracking everything. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh, SQL. Oh, well, that's helpful when you got a lot of data to sort through. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's, I yeah. like that. And, now, I, you know, you gather a lot of data on the astral plane. you got to categorize it. I can imagine. Yeah. Um. And I think it's, I. again, most of this does not matter. What does mastery of the grind mean? Is that like coffee? We've, I do. <laughs> now, I do enjoy a nice cup of coffee. How is the coffee in space? Um, it's not as good because uh turns out gravity is a, par- a big part of coffee. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. So I think we're done. Squats, 102 done. squats. 102. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I don't just focus on my arms. I also work on my legs, too. Do you... Is that the number you were trying to get to, or do you get to the number you can most possibly? Do you fall over after one hundred and two? Uh, I don't. Yeah. I just feel is like I've conquered it. Is there? <laughs> I just get bored at that point. I feel like I could be using my time more. I, I, INTP. What is that? What is INTP? Is that right. a programming Myers language? Myers Briggs. Right. It's the genius. Okay, moving on. Uh, Sixty mile per hour curve. <laughs> 900, if we had an astronaut here, they would want to hear it in kilometers per hour, which is why I have it listed there as well. Uh, that's like a softball speed, right? That's, that's major leagues. Uh, no, no. I, I watch baseball. Pretty close in to my this. In my astral Come travels, I, I take in a lot of baseball. Uh, uh, and not they, a lot of baseball happening in space. That's all I'm saying. They track them. Oh, is it? are you using like lunar gravity to, no, tra- no, to no. track your speedball no, this speed? No, this is the sun's gravity. <laughs> Management is proficient. Proficient. <laughs> I use the French pronunciation here. <laughs> and um, physique is also efficient. Efficient. Turns, yeah, it's mm. efficient. Efficient. I'm a physique. poet, like many astronauts. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's get more. Yeah, let's. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm excited for this one. Areas of improvement? Question mark. Um, what is that? What does that have to say there, Drancy? Why don't you? Really why don't you matter. reveal that for us? Uh, ungrounded. You're you're un, you're ungrounded sixty yes. percent. Which, if there was an astronaut here, I would say ungrounded. That's a very perfect weakness to have, if you want to go to space. Sure. Unfortunately. Well, we do have an astronaut. Is that a good weakness to have if you go to space? Uh, if you are traveling the planes of different dimensions, uh, it can be helpful to become ungrounded because you need to sever the silver cord between your soul and your body. Um, yeah. However. When you come back to your body, it's good to imagine tree roots coming out of the base of your feet and then going into the earth and growing uh, as you imagine, you know, the seed of life covering the earth uh, like a blanket. Now, it's not my goal to come back, but I, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So ungrounded good. Yeah. That's great. So you're... So now I think we can end it here. No, I... I, I there's you know my side. greatest weakness, Rowan. Um, what more can you take from Kai me? has the, what, what, the idea, ideal physical dimensions for space exploration. Um, and then we have this um, exciting graphic here. Um, what, how do you mean ideal physical dimensions? I mean, I am the perfect size 
weight, body mass index, mm -hmm. dimensions, every single dimension, perfect for space exploration. Now, Drancy, you're that's looking. True. You are. You are in fact seeing a feed of him right mm -hmm. now. Do you think that's accurate? I mean, yeah, because a rocket is essentially a, a racehorse, right? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So you want to you want to really maximize your your aerodynamic capabilities. I'm very sleek. Yeah, you are very sleek. Aerodynamic. Very Svelte. My feet have wings on the sides of them. Well, yeah, well, so okay. let's. We can all agree. Well, what what do you say, um, Drancy? Well, well, um, what what do you say? If we had an astronaut here, I would ask them, do they think I'm cut out? Are they willing to take the chance on me? Well, we do. and, and do, do you... But we don't have an astronaut here. We no, have we have, we, we... Fine, Trancy. What do you think? I think that if you journey within, you will find what is without. So let's hear the clincher now because that's what's apparently next. Um, what, is, <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is I knew you'd say that mean in this context? I've done right? a lot. I've done some strategic – a digital analysis of, of possible outcomes. And I thought I knew what the possible outcome could be. Unfortunately, these are not the conditions that I had set in those, uh, in those strategies. So this is not going well. So this isn't relevant? This so, not, I didn't know. That, well, did I had do? no idea that any of this would happen. What did you, what did and you, this is frankly insulting that you would put me through okay, this. Fine, fine. Um, and we have another quote here. Um, well, why don't you read that quote, Kai? Since this is these are your quote, quotes, this is your presentation. Um, I think it's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to the basket. And who said that? Elon Musk. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a picture here of NASA, Kai. Right, and I think at this point, I please throw it. We can't go any farther. <laughs> no, I'm seeing that there are five more slides left in this this deck. We have please roughly seven more minutes. Please, that's no, one slide. Okay, so so we have we have NASA headquarters, uh -huh. Washington D.C. Yeah, and um, what vulnerable? What what is this, Kai? I know about certain vulnerabilities within the National Aeronautics and Space Association headquarters. Yeah, and I see arrows pointing to various parts in the building. And there are more than that. Is this a threat? No. No. Those are skulls, but this is not a threat. No. Does this seem like a threat, Chancy? I think this is in good fun, right? I think we can both agree. It seems a little like a threat. I, I can't agree. Rowan, you've got a compulsive liar on the show for us today. I, 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 am, uh, I am insulted that once again you have made made a complete fool I of me. I beg and, you and, not. And we can stop now, Rowan. We no, can no, stop um, now. What else do we have here? I see, I see some grapes. <laughs> what is the purpose of asking this, Kai? What is the purpose of asking how many grapes that can fit in, in, in one's mouth? I wanted to go at every, every possible angle here. Right. Rowan, I'm ambitious. Trancy, how many grapes can you fit into your mouth? Oh, prob I mean, probably like at least at least 12. Um, I mean, oh, I, it depends on the size of the grapes, the time of year. Um, but you, listen, I, you don't have to answer these I, questions. I played a lot of um, Chubby Bunny, uh, you know, mm -hmm. at, at Bible camp as a kid, um, where you stuff the marshmallows in your mouth and continue to try to say the words Chubby Bunny. Uh, uh -huh. And so I think that I could do pretty well at this grape game. Now this is a slide that I do want. I do want to show. Thirty. Oh. Well. And now we now we can stop. No, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing some more some more slides here. I'm seeing some more slides. Um, you have information about v Venus. What information is that? I'm not at liberty to divulge. Okay. At this point. Sure. Um, once again, your yes is the answer I would give to a question you haven't even asked yet. Yes. I just I said it now. And what what's this last point here? 386,000 a number of great importance. These are just values. There's no not even a point to to discuss this. These are values that no no association of space exploration around the globe, around Chicago, around the United States has has liberty to. This is something that I could add. For any astronauts out there, this is information that I have that you want. 386,000. If you knew what that number was referring to, 
you would be terrified. Is that the number of stars that are bees? No, I think we established all stars are bees. All stars are bees. Well, how, I, many, I, how many stars are there? Not, not at liberty to say. If you want to work for NASA, shouldn't you know how many stars I there are? I do, but I'm That's not at liberty guessing. to say. <laughs> That's an excellent point, Drancy. <laughs> Listen, the data is still being calculated. We have to be patient here. I mean, and new stars are being created every day, too, so. What does you want them come and take them mean? What does that mean, Kai, in this context? Clearly, I think it's clearly, very clear. Clearly, you are, you are attempting to, to, to get a job. You're attempting to become an astronaut through this PowerPoint presentation. I'm not trying to get a job. Through, Rowan, th- I have, through, Rowan, through threats. I have a job. Through threats I'm and looking to bizarre become... facts and, and m- miscommunication. Rowan, I don't want a job. I want to become a symbol. Well, Drancy, f- with this last slide, I guess you should add, uh, you, that's, it's up to you. you. You are truly the astronaut here. What will it take to get this man um, to, uh, to, uh, to give this up, to give up this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, mockery? I don't think you need to give anything up. I think you need to take on new things. And maybe one of your new things should be, you know, getting all your past lives together in your head mm. uh, and just encouraging everyone to have a moment of silence. Rowan, do we have a citizen scientist? We do. Uh, um, 